briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The focal point in the 1950 case of Hayes's estate versus commissioner, heard by the United States Court of Appeals for Fifth Circuit, was the trust established on a Mississippi farmland. The issue at hand was twofold. Whether paying a grantor's debt from a trust could be considered a benefit for them and if it should contribute to the estate tax assessment, and whether the heir beneficiaries enjoyed a full ownership interest in the trust property owing to the trust setup. The petitioner argued against the inclusion of the debt paid by the trust in the estate tax assessment, insisting that the deceased derive no benefit from it. Conversely, the tax court did not support the petitioner's contention and based its decision on the trust instrument's language and the trustee's actions. An additional point of contention was the degree to which the beneficiary heirs owned the property. The petitioner maintained that the beneficiaries had less than full ownership, but the court concluded otherwise, deciding they did have full ownership. The court ultimately overruled the tax court's decision, holding that the debt payment made by the trust did not increase the decedent's wealth or provide any benefits, and thus shouldn't be factored into the estate tax assessment. The court also affirmed the beneficiary's unimpeded rights to the property, irrespective of the potential trust termination. Correspondingly, the lower court's ruling was reversed, a victory for the petitioner. This judgment underscores the importance of meticulous verbiage and actions surrounding trusts, as they can wield a significant impact on contentious issues such as asset ownership and tax obligations. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.